Hey guys, come prune this pepper plant with me this morning. So this is my Scotch Bonnet pepper guys and this morning I decided I am going to prune it. I wasn't going to prune this plant um, but I then decided, you know what, I am going to prune it because I always prune, all, most of my peppers are pruned just one pepper in my garden that is not pruned and I'm going to show you that one and I did that just for experiment reason why I did not prune one of my peppers all the other peppers are pruned from baby stage anyway this one I wasn't going to prune it because it's already looking bushy and all right but if you take a look underneath the leaves as you can see it's going to be one straight plant coming up it's just going to be a tall plant and it's not going to be a big bushy plant it's just going to be one tall plant i decided i don't want that for this pepper plant i want it to be bushy i want it to be sturdy and all that so i decided i'm going to prune it this morning so the reason why i'm going to show you a pepper over there the same exact pepper and i'm going to show you why i decide to prune it come with me so take a look at this one this is the exact pepper only difference is is this pepper been growing in my bed and that one i have that one in bag because it's going to be a, a indoor pepper for me once the winter it i'm going to take it inside to continue to produce and bear fruit so this one i didn't do this intentionally this one was done by by my squirrel they decide to just nip the head off and that's when it um, literally pruned itself. Um, well, the squirrel pruned this pepper for me. So the head was like right there and they just rip it off. And as you can see, you see how beautiful this plant is growing. You see there's a side shoot there and there's another side shoot. And this plant is just gonna grow big and fluffy and bushy. And I think it will produce more fruits than if the plants just grow upward so yeah same for this one i don't think that one has been pruned as yet i am going to prune that because we need some bushier plants and this is the exact same thing this one is struggling like really really struggling it's just starting to you know do its thing and this one is putting on a pepper so i'm not going to prune it because it's been struggling for so long so i'm going to leave this one to bear fruits um, yeah so let's go back over to the pepper that I'm going to prune and let's prune it together okay okay so we're back here and I want to show you another pepper the one that I didn't prune okay so these peppers are scotch bonnet pepper as well I bought these ones at the store when they were baby and I prune one and I didn't prune the other so this is the other one and this is they're they're exactly the same I, they're, they're twin they're my twin yeah they're exactly the same guys so this one I want you to take a good look at this pepper plant I did not prune this plant and as you can see there's not any side shoot on this it's just one straight plant coming up right Let's take a look at this, if you can see the difference now. So as soon as you touch, reach the bottom, you already see a side shoot right here. Coming up, there's another side shoot right here. And if you go over here, there's more side shoot coming out there. There's like a bunch of side shoot and each side shoot, guys, produces pepper. Look, they're starting to produce look at that this side shoot start to produce pepper this side shoot start to produce pepper so every side shoot on this plant starts to produce pepper so I did this just for a little experiment to see if the plant that is pruned will um, produce more pepper than the plant that is not pruned so at the end of the growing season or when they produces and you know we're gonna come back and we're gonna we're gonna judge for ourselves if they get more fruit whether it's prune or not so we can you know 
know in the future if we want to prune our plants or not but so far it looks like the prune plant is going to put on a lot more fruit and i want to show you another pepper plant as well guys so let's go ahead and prune this so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take i'm gonna prune off about four leaves on top so all this is going to be pruned off i know you might think oh i don't want to hurt the plant and no it's it's not gonna hurt the plant i promise you it's just gonna make the plant stronger so we're just gonna go in and take off the head just like that you see that yep and that's gonna encourage the plant now to grow side shoot and become bushier so we're gonna revisit this plant in about three to four weeks we're gonna revisit this plant and I will definitely give you an update on this plant and let you see what's going on so let me take you over to another another pepper plant I just want to show you something this plant right here is my jalapeno it's my jalapeno pepper guys and it's producing like crazy we have one down there that's coming up and we have tons of blossoms on here and i did prune this plant see i did prune that plant so i prune my plants because i want them to be sturdy i want them to be bushy and yeah so all the pretty much all the pepper plants in my garden this is a bell pepper it's been pruned it's producing like crazy guys so much peppers on these plants when you prune them this one is another bell pepper and what i notice is a lot of the fruits are falling off i think it has too much fruits on there it can't handle so much fruits i don't think so and this is my orange bell pepper guys last year i got only one bell pepper from this plant and this year it looks like it's gonna be producing a lot of plant so there's one thing I can say I did improve in my garden from last year till now this year is the soil the soil the soil the soil is very important guys I improve my soil drastic I get good soil this year and I have good compost and stuff inside these um, bags so that's why they're producing so much I believe this year yeah on my pepper this is um, this one is a poblano pepper I know this pepper is gonna get big yeah this is a big big pepper plant so I'm gonna have to put a bigger stake on that yeah guys so that's it for my peppers I have a lot of peppers in the bed and a lot of peppers in the bag and yeah hey yeah, guys thanks for watching and remember if you like this video please subscribe share and give me a thumbs up if you like this video guys so whenever i post other videos you won't get left out you will always um see my video popped up on your timeline on your screen so make sure you subscribe make sure you like and make sure you share 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 this video okay guys thank you and have a blessed day and happy gardening guys bye